the day begins early and it begins with our students helping to load the equipment truck. It's really quite a sight to see because we have a lot of equipment for our percussion ensemble and for our bands and all of that equipment uh, gets taken over to George Mason uh, early in the day. I'm in the percussion group, so I'll be performing, obviously, with these guys back here. We're really excited, ready to go, because we've been practicing for months now, so, I mean, it feels good to finally get it to pay off and perform in front of a live audience. Oh my god! Okay, you know what to do, just head straight down the road. And, uh... Loading the truck in the afternoon is like practice for this evening, doing it in the dark at the end of the concert, twice as fast. So you sort of decide where things are going to go now, take that extra time at the end of the evening. Um, it goes as well as it can. Fire drill took us by surprise and that's fine. Uh, we're only about 20 minutes behind at this point, so I think it's going to be good. I'll be moving chairs and instruments and setting up the stage before the performance go on. Uh, just make sure they have all the equipment they need, like amps, music stands, make sure the instruments are in the right place. My worst nightmare about this performance would be that we take a really long time when we're not supposed to, or we make a lot of noise, or that somehow the stage lights come on while we're up there and show what we're doing. My worst nightmare is not hitting my final note, and that is quite likely and I really hope it doesn't happen. The stakes are pretty high, I think, because the audience is huge. It's the biggest audience that we have at Flint Hill. We have people from outside the community coming in and watching our performers, and we have a lot of lower school families and middle school families watching. Hey guys, you have 10 minutes to change and be on stage. Actually, just make sure that you walk down along the side. The students will come in off the bus from Flint Hill and they'll bring all of their things to their particular holding area. But after that, we start working right away. Dance doesn't really get to show how much work we do often, so for things like this, when we actually do get to show, it's really exciting for us, and it's like a really big deal, and we try really hard. And I think everyone's pretty relaxed right now because we have such a long time until the show, but I can tell that everyone's going to get really excited. The musicians will begin to get their instruments ready and warmed up and the students sometimes for the first time hear what they sound like in a concert hall. And that's a very important moment. So they're learning pretty much every minute we're there about what it takes to put on a production in the concert hall, but also about how they're going to conduct themselves as musicians, dancers, crew members, and the like. Just so seen fair. Are you sure there wasn't anyone else with you? What if there was? I can go bathing with whoever I choose. Yeah. Okay, I know you love that part, but you can totally cut all of that. From why not to, oh yes, it was a very dicky yacht. We actually have to cut down our scene because it was too long to fit in the concert, and so we were trying um, backstage very furiously to try to cut things, and who knew their lines, and where does everybody stand, and that kind of thing. Just don't see the Actually, I have a better idea. Why don't we enter and come downstage right, and then we can move downstage left. Three, four. I'm feeling a little nervous. This is a big concert, the biggest one of the year, so we want to really impress the crowd that's coming in tonight. So we really want to put on a good show. That's a little bit of pressure on me. Uh, I'm the concert master, so I am kind of responsible for kind of keeping the orchestra together. I'm the Emily Cello, so my greatest fear is messing up on Neighbors Chorus because if I mess up, then the orchestra and the choir mess up. This is a huge event. I mean, everybody's doing something with somebody, which is 
it's good. This is more this is more along the lines of what a musical experience or an arts experience really is. One of the great things about going to the concert hall is that we can design a show. We can design something that's not a typical uh, school concert where you might hear one or two of our groups. Or we can really bring every dance and music student together and some of our theater students to run the crew and we can be creative. And so the heart of our show is the collaboration numbers. It's going to be great. They're, they're, going to, they're going to have a good time and it's going to be a very positive experience because at the end of the day, there are not many schools in this country that get to go to their local college and play on a professional level stage. And this is, this is a really huge experience for these kids because, you know, you don't get this experience until you get to college. Down to five, and release. That was we have a wonderful theater here at Flint Hill, but going to the concert hall allows us to bring together the music and dance groups in a way that we could never do. And the whole effect for the audience is outstanding. We want them to have a great theatrical experience of going to the concert hall, coming into the grand lobby, and just having a terrific experience. We're getting mic'd up. We're just live. The student standing in the wings, getting ready to go on stage, is thinking about every single aspect of the performance and, and really focusing in a way they haven't before. And it's like, you know, having a nervous energy, but you know that you're going to be able to use that energy. You know you're going to step out there and you're just going to do it. And you can feel the lights on you and you can feel the audience listening to you, you feel them, and that's when you really begin to enjoy it. You're so fascinating, but it's aggravating that you keep us waiting to hear. Which one will be your favorite? You're so very taking that our hearts are breaking. So you should be making it clear. Which one of us? I get way more nervous when my students are performing than when I'm performing. Because <laughs> I have no control. At that point, they're out there and I can't do anything to help them.
Yeah, it was really fun. There was a lot of people there. I didn't expect there to be that many people there. It went awesome. All of our hard work has finally paid off. It was awesome. I really felt like the best like, job we've ever done that. It worked. Everything worked. It was so perfect. Backstage, we're loading the truck and gathering up things, and it's part of the learning process, really, to take responsibility for everything you brought in and to make sure you have all of your things. And so parents are waiting out in the lobby with this enormous amount of anticipation, and our students begin to dribble out that little door, and it's almost like an airport scene where people who haven't seen each other in a long time are suddenly reconnected. You know, the hugs and the acknowledgments and the praise flows, and it's a great feeling.